ladies, it's Manesha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you some Beauty Big Bang products I'd like to share. I'm going to be doing a, a nail art using these products here. And they've been sent to me for review. So first up I've got one of their nail stampers. So it comes in a bag like that. There's the product code there. Um, it comes with a flexible scraper, which is quite flexible. And it comes with the stamper. So that's just a clear, clear stamp. I'm going to pull all of these out of the packaging in a minute and show you close of view. Um, I have got a 10% off discount code and it's just M-A-N-I. So I'll have that on the bottom of the screen and down below too, as well as the direct links for these products. So this is a nail stamping plate that they've sent to me. Um, it was actually sent in error, but um, they've requested I still do a, um, like a nail art for you. So that's what I'm going to do. But it's actually a, um, a Christmas, one of their Christmas stamping plates. So um, this is it here. It's Beauty Big Bang number 14, and it's got six really large images on it, which is great if you've got long nails, but I'm sure you, you know, people with short nails like myself, look, I can probably get almost two stamps on that one, um, will be able to use them really well as well. Um, so this, obviously, it's a Christmas-based one, um, but I'll be doing non-Christmas minis because um, Christmas is over now, so obviously this is all going to go to air after New Year's. And I've been also sent one of their new stamping polishes. So this one is the blue colour, and that's the product code there. And it's a beautiful, um, sort of like I call it a royal blue. So like a deeper royal blue. And, whoops, get everything in focus, and that's what it looks like close up. So an absolutely stunning colour. I absolutely love it. I keep saying absolutely, but I do. It's beautiful. It reminds me, actually, the colour reminds me, just looking at it now like this, of Essie Aruba Blue, which I also have as well. So I'm just going to pull that out and we'll do a quick comparison and see how close they are. Okay, so there's Essie Aruba Blue, and that's Beauty Big Bang's Blue Stamping Polish. And I oh, probably need to give this a shake. Well loved bottle here, ladies. It's just about finished. So, very, very similar colour, almost a dupe. So, yeah, there you go. It's got a really nice deep blue shimmer in it, um, as does the Beauty Big Bangs one. So, really, really similar in colour. Yeah, amazing. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a nail out um, with these products today, so you'll see how well they work. And I'm going to be doing um, a gradient using these three polishes here. So they're all from Sally Hansen. And um, I'll have all the names in that list for you down in the description box below. And I'll also be using Bliss Kiss um, around my nails for easy cleanup. I've just started with one coat of the um, Pale Lemon Colour. Just to start off, and I'm going to be using a um, sponge just to do the gradient on my nails. So this is pre-dampened. Apart from that, I will do a bit of a voiceover and I'll speed the next part up for you. And um, sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, so I'm just going to apply the um, Bliss Kiss Latex um, protection around my nails. So if you are allergic to um, latex, definitely don't use this product. Use tape or there are latex free versions out there, I'm sure. And so like I said before, just use a pre-dampened sponge. Now I find that just gives a nice smoother gradient and you don't feel like you're losing as much polish um, into the sponge. And then just dab that onto the nails, dab, dab, dab. Now these polishes aren't overly pigmented, so I did find I did have to do three coats. And I've actually forgotten to film the second coat, so this is actually the third coat going on here. And then I'm quite happy with that, I've reached full opacity. Then I'm just going to run a wooden stick around my um, you know, nails just to break the seal. And I don't know why I was actually having trouble trying to get the um, latex off at this stage, but once I got it off it was fine. Do any final cleanup, so you can just use some nail polish remover and a brush. Or if the polish is a little bit more stubborn, you can just use a little bit of acetone. And that's the plate there without the blue film on, so you do need to remove that before using it. And the backing's actually got a um, like a paper backing, and so the edges aren't too rough or anything like that. And that's the clear stamper there. So it's not sticky or anything like that, and it's semi-firm. That's the way I'd describe the um, firmness of it. 
and that's the first pickup. So now I actually haven't primed this. I haven't done anything to the stamper and I haven't done anything to the stamping plate. So this is just, as you see me using it, that's exactly how I'm using it. I haven't cleaned or done anything to um, any of the products. So they're actually working um, first time, no problems at all. And with the clear stamper, I mean, they're always fantastic when you're doing designs, especially like this, where you need to line things up correctly. So I've stamped all the nails. I'm just taking that second coat of Bliss Kiss off and I'm going to be painting some sesh feet on the nails to seal in the design. So you can use any fast drying top coat or any, any of your favourite top coat that you choose. And then because I'm going to be doing a matte top coat on it, um, that's just Barry M there. So here's the finished design and I'm really, really happy with it. I mean, I had um, perfect pick up with the um, stamper no problems with any parts of the image missing or anything like that. The blue stamping polish very very highly pigmented and um, worked really really well and the scraper being flexible um, also worked well. <laughs> I can't say anything bad about anything because it's all everything's just really fallen into place and the stamping plate too, um, two thumbs up very very well etched and had no problems at all no issues at all with that you can sort of hear from the um you know the sound there that they're really well etched and stuff so i did actually go ahead and finish with a matte top coat and i'm going to pop some pictures in at the end here but yeah really really like it i mean let me know what you think of the design i've done here and um, with it being a plaidy sort of flannelly sort of looking design i felt like i had to do a um, matte top coat on that and i'm not disappointed i think it really suits it nicely and i'm really happy with the um the gradient too i think the colors work quite well together with, I was trying to find colours that I felt would look good with the blue and so I'm really pleased with the, the choice I made there because I think they work really well. So I'm actually going to do another design um, with this plate but I'm not going to be doing a video, it's just going to be a really simple design. But um, for you that follow me on Instagram you'll see the picture of it there. I'll probably put a post of it up um, straight after the post of this one here so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that one and um, gonna be doing another sort of like I said a simple design but something hopefully along the classy line so we'll just see how it goes I might be setting myself up for a bit of a fail here but we'll just see anyway what you think of it and um, yeah any comments questions definitely leave them down in the comment section below if you're popping onto Beauty Big Bang's website and um, be sure to use my discount M-A-N-I. I mean if it's used six times or more they will be sponsoring another giveaway. I have done one a while back and um, definitely looking forward to doing another giveaway at some stage um, for all of you lovely ladies out there that follow me. And um, like I said, thanks for stopping by. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are and thanks for giving me all the love and support with my channel. Um, it's definitely grown um, this last year. I've put so much time and effort into it and I really do appreciate all the, um, the lovely comments everybody leaves and all the support and encouragement that I get from you too. Definitely keeps me going. Um, yay to 2018. Hopefully it's going to be a great year for all of us. And um, like I said, if you've subscribed to my channel, I'll be seeing you in the next video anyway. Bye for now.